I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. There's no doubt that despite our best efforts, much as we try, life isn't always a bundle of joy. And we do have inevitably our sad times. And music therapy is no new thing. It's nothing new to extol the virtues of the therapeutic benefits that music brings. We all know this. And yes, of course, I do acknowledge that there are other or the more substantial refuge places that we can go to when we're feeling sad. But of course, music is one of the most obvious go-tos to just kind of help nurture our heart and just cheer us up a little bit. I'm sure that we've all got particular sorts of music that we will turn to to listen to if we're feeling a little bit sad. You know, down at heel. And so it's great to listen to those favourite pieces, favourite styles, listen to music, sit back, you know, kick back, relax, just chill a little bit, take a moment and just restore your soul by listening to some music. Of course, that is always a very, very popular and effective to a large degree, a, a go-to that we can use. However, I would suggest that playing music is even better. And oftentimes we deprive ourselves of that little therapy, as it were, because we think, oh, you know, I just don't feel up to it. I just feel I'm too sad or whatever. I, I'm just not in the mood. I'm just not going to play. And whilst, of course, we may not be doing our best practice in those times, you know, if we're just in the right head space and we can't concentrate and we're not giving it our best, of course, we might not be making the best progress, but that's not the point in this case, is it? That's not our objective. We're not there to, you know, great guns go and achieve loads of success in our endeavours. We just want to find a little bit of therapy and cheer our heart a little bit. However, if we think, oh, I'm not in the mood, I'm not going to play, we are really depriving ourselves. And this is the time where if you can just think, Do you know, I'm just going to play. I'm, I'm just going to play my instrument because it's so beneficial and it's so therapeutic and there are loads of scientific research results available to see where we can see how when you are playing music you are firing all of the neurons in your brain and you're activating and stimulating your brain and so that will of course be stimulating all sorts of uh, i don't know dopamine serotonin I'm, I'm not entirely sure of the science but there's no doubt it will be re it will be releasing those feel-good factors. So, of course, just in purely on that level, you know, you're releasing some feel-good factors just by actually engaging in playing. Also, if you're actually playing, you are then giving yourself that extra boost of satisfaction by at least feeling like you're achieving something. It may not be the best that we've ever done. There's no doubt we might not be achieving quite so much. It might not be our most dynamic practice session, but just the sense of achievement of thinking, you know, well, I've got something done. I've, I've managed to get some time at my instrument and I've played. And, and so that will be a good feeling of satisfaction. And that's a positive mood booster. But even more than that, the fact that you are using all of your neurons and your whole brain is firing, it gives you something else to focus upon. Instead of focusing upon your troubles, which may be, you know, real enough, life throws some tough things at us and life can be very sad at times. So without wishing to demean those seasons in life, by the same token, whilst you're riding the storm, if you just take some time out at your instrument, you step in your focus away from the, the, the tough things and the sad things, and you're focusing your brain and your energy and your mind, and you're calming yourself down by focusing on the music itself. And then that kind of stops the cycle of negativity, I think, of course, the world will be waiting for us when we get back into it, but maybe we'll have 
a little more calm, a little more resolve, certainly will be better able to deal with it. And as I said, it's just one small thing. There are many, many avenues of support that we can turn to. This is just one, music is just one, and it's not necessarily the greatest, but that doesn't detract from the fact that it's still a valuable asset in our life, tool set as it were. As you are focusing your efforts and your mind and your concentration on the music in hand and taking your focus away, you're at least giving yourself a break from feeling those acute sad feelings, if only for that time. And there's no doubt you will feel a little bit better able to cope just because you've spent that time feeding your mind with beautiful music, or even if it's not so beautiful while you're practicing, you still you know, enjoying connecting with the notes and you yourself are creating that music. Listening to music is good. Playing it, I think, is even better. And if you really are in the depths of despair and, you know, you're just, I don't know, sad, cross, angry, whatever it is, and you just haven't the mental space to be playing any of the pieces that you would ordinarily choose to play, turn to some scales. Scales are super duper therapy, especially when you're a little bit cross because, you know, just I find on the piano especially, more so than the flute really, but on the piano, bashing up and down some scales is great release because, you know, take it out on the piano keyboard. The piano does not mind if you bash hard. It's a piano forte, which means soft, loud. By all means, stick to the forte side of the spectrum whilst your mood requires it. And because you're doing scales, if you're playing scales that you kind of know pretty well, you're not even thinking about the notes that you're playing, you're just bashing up and down and you're just venting your fury on the, on the piano keys and you're giving it a positive outlet. Better that than, you know, punching something else. Punch the piano keys kind of in a measured sense. No, don't really punch them. Although, a little aside here, I do remember years and years and years ago, there was one grade one piano piece um, which required the performer to just bash black keys. It was the, the last C pitch was usually tended to be the, the wacky choice. And you just had to vaguely bash some black keys. And I remember at the time, begging some of my pupils to please, please take this exam piece, choose this one, because this is the only time in your entire life you are justified in bashing the exam piano. Many times you will feel like it. This is your one opportunity to legitimately bash the exam piano. And you know, I don't think anybody would go for it at the time. I'm, I'm so disappointed. We love music. We play music because it's a joy. We listen to music because it's a joy. However, life isn't always quite so joyous, in which case, still turn to it. Don't neglect it just because, you know, things aren't good particularly right now. Music therapy, we know of old, is a well-established go-to method of release and comfort and sustenance but playing gives you that extra extra dimension and you'll have done something good with your time even if perhaps that's not the best practice you would have done you still make good use of your time and that will also make you feel good too thanks for listening see you next time bye, bye.